An ancient solar storm smashed Earth at the wrong time during the sun cycle, solar minimum. And scientists are concerned. The 9,125-year-old solar storm left researchers with one stark conclusion. We are not ready for the next one. Now, an extremely powerful solar storm pummeled our planet 9,125 years ago, leaving permanent scars on the ice buried beneath Greenland and Antarctica. And a new study of those ancient samples has found this previously unknown storm is one of the strongest outbursts of solar weather ever detected and would have crippled modern communication systems if it had hurt, hit Earth today. But perhaps the most surprising, the massive storm appears to have hit during a solar minimum. The point during the sun's 11-year cycle when solar outbursts are typically much less common. According to the study, because of this unexpected discovery, the study researchers are concerned that devastating solar storms could hit when we least expect them. And that Earth might not be prepared when the next big one arrives. Now, these enormous storms are currently not sufficiently included in risk assessments. According to co-author Raymond Muschler, a geology researcher at the Lund University in Sweden. Sweden. And I quote, it is of the utmost importance that we analyze what these events could mean for today's technology and how we can protect ourselves. Now, if you didn't know, solar storms occur when magnetic field lines on the sun's corona, which is the outermost part of the sun's atmosphere, the part we see, become tangled up and then violently snap back into place. This sudden magnetic reconnection can release huge gouts of plasma and into the magnetic field. And these outbursts are known as coronal mass ejections, and we report on them all the time on the channel. These CMEs surf across space on the sun's ever-gusting solar wind. And if they're faced at Earth, well, it's boom time. If a powerful CME passes over Earth, it can compress the planet's magnetic shield, which we call the magnetosheath or the magnetosphere, causing what is known as a geomagnetic storm. And some of the biggest have happened during the Younger Dryas, freezing mammoths with buttercups in their mouths and burning the other side of the planet simultaneously. Now, mild geomagnetic storms can damage satellites and interrupt radio transmissions. Like severe storms, like the Halloween storm of 2003, can cause widespread power outages across the world and perhaps permanently damage electrical infrastructure forever, including things like power transformers. And some researchers fear that a sufficient, sufficiently large storm could also ravage the world's undersea internet cables resulting in an internet apocalypse. Can you imagine that? No more Netflix? It would literally leave huge chunks of the world population disconnected for months at the minimum. Years and perhaps, well, disconnected forever. Now, CME outbursts typically peak every 11 years or so, and we're headed towards the next solar max in just two, three years. So heads up. And these solar maximum are when the sun enters a part of its natural activity cycle where sunspots are perpetuating the field. And magnetic activity is quite stimulated. And the coronal mass ejections were thought to be quite high.
Today, satellites can monitor solar outbursts directly. We use all types of telemetry, especially if you watch the channel, you know the type of data that we use. But the authors of the new study looked for evidence of special particles known as cosmogenic radionucleotides. And you know them as cosmic rays, maybe. Essentially, radioactive isotopes created when charged solar particles collide with elements in Earth's atmosphere. And you can see the breakdown here. These radioactive particles can appear in natural records like sediments or even ice and even tree rings. In the study, the authors looked at, at ice, analyzing several cores drilled in Antarctica and Greenland. Cores from both locations showed a remarkable spike in beryllium-10 chlorine-36 at 9,125 years ago, indicating that a powerful solar storm swept across Earth at this time. Now, further analysis of the core showed that the storm was particularly powerful, perhaps on par with some of the most powerful storms ever detected that we know about, including the event in 660 BC and the Charlemagne event or the 774-775 carbon 14 spike. Now, many of my colleagues and I have been going out in the field and determining that these events are directly related petroglyphs seen worldwide. And now we know why that there are also petroglyphs that are, appear to be 8,000 years old that show the same thing. We were unaware of this event, and now we know. The 9125-year event were the archaic glyphs of Squatterman, Jacob's Ladder, and the other plasma dis discharge glyphs, and the more recent glyphs that we see of the same Exact figures are from similar events that happened just 2,000 years ago. One, 1,300 years ago, and the other 2,600 years ago. Which is when most of the modern glyphs are seen worldwide. And this is mind-blowing for our research, by the way. This paper gives us, well, very few of us, all the information we need to go forward with groundbreaking work into natives witnessing plasma discharge in the heavens. Because we now have the scientific data to prove the 8,000-year-old glyphs were from a witnessed event. And the 1,500-year-old glyphs and the 800-year-old glyphs are from witnessed events. That's, this is amazing. And here you're looking at the proxy data from the beryllium, dating that at 9124. Now, the newly discovered storm occurrence during a solar minimum, when magnetic, magnetic activity on the Earth is at a low point, left the authors puzzled and alarmed, as well as myself, because, well, just like new studies coming out about supervolcanoes that are unpredictable. It's the mid-level volcanoes that we can predict because there's uplift and seismic activity. But the super volcanoes, there may be no warning. So all of a sudden, you have Campe Falegre or Yellowstone. And now we know that we can have solar outbursts, the likes of which we've never seen in modern times, happening right now, anytime. Doesn't have to be solar max. And this storm further pushes the magnitude of a potential worst-case scenario for solar storm events. According to the study authors, it is now essential for researchers to detect more ancient extreme storms in the ice core and tree ring records to determine if there is some sort of pattern behind or beyond the sun's 11-year cycle. Well, welcome to the paradigm-shifting shell of magnetic reversal news. The news you need to know. And we've been talking about cosmic patterns and cycles of catastrophe for years. That's a boom. Hope you got something out of the video. Mainstream science is proving one day at a time what we have been physically observing in the field as archaeologists and geologists, independent of the mainstream.
continue to follow our journey as mainstream science proves what we have already discovered. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. We love you. Mm -hmm.